Hello, everyone in Facebook land. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Thursday or whatever time of day it is for you in whatever part of the world you're tuning in from. If you want to jump on here and join the conversation, just go up above and um, add your name into the link and then I'll be able to see who you are as you come on live. Um, as I said, as it says in the title up above, I have a special guest today who's going to join us and uh, on a do live and tell us a little bit about it. So if you have not met before, my name is, oh, I got it right, Heather, Heather Edmondson, and I am coming at you live from Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. I just got home from work and coordinated this go live with somebody in Eastern Canada. So here we go. Here comes, uh, where's my mouse? Here we go. Here comes our our guest, how how are you, Matt Serb? How are you? Doing great. Thanks yeah. for having me. This is awesome. Yeah. This is very cool that we could actually coordinate and talk to each other in person. So um, I wanted to ask you a few things about how you got started in this online um, industry and and what what brought you over to Helen Martin and and that kind of stuff. Uh, where did you get that information from? And how okay. did you find her? So. Okay, well, first of all, thanks a lot for having me. This is this is so much fun to be able to connect with people virtually. I mean, we're so many miles apart, which is fantastic, which is part of why I enjoy working with the internet so much. I've had about a 13 year, um, I guess 13 years I've been an entrepreneur now and I've done all sorts of things in the online space. Um, I've sold things online like on eBay and on Amazon. I've had affiliate programs, all these different things. And I really, I'm someone that likes to study the internet and really figure things out and, and really dig into it because I really see this as a huge opportunity. You know, if I, if I take a look at when I was running my online business, mm -hmm. I could change products overnight. I didn't have brick and mortar that I had to swap out. I didn't have places at the mall that I had to switch things out and inventory. There's all these different things that I really didn't think of in my corporate world. I had my blinders on thinking, well, I had to earn money because I had a salary and that's all that existed out there. When you start seeing how you can make money on uh, in entrepreneur space, it's very different. And then layer on that being in the online space, it's magical because you really have a worldwide opportunity as opposed to just something that happens. I mean, I'm here just outside of Toronto. If I was to have a garage sale, I only have people in my neighborhood but Correct. now online, I have it like everywhere. It's amazing. Well, yeah, and we seem to be reaching everybody from all aspects of this uh, globe. So it's very, very cool that we can reach so many people in so many different areas and aspects of their lives. So. Absolutely. Um, how did you meet Helen? How, how did you get hooked up with Helen Martin online? So in one of my um, groups that I belong to, somebody had posted, you know, this is a great way to uh, stay in tune with what's going on with the internet and staying on top of the whole, you know, WWW of, of video land. Because in 2020, a lot of the content is moving and continuing to move to video. And so I really want to make sure that I keep myself, my saw, my saw sharpened to make sure that I know what's happening in that space. So somebody's posted, hey, if you want to learn a little bit more about video, come on over to this group, check it out. We're doing a challenge. I think the first one I did was a 14-day challenge, and I learned so, so much because every single day, everything is changing online. Companies like Facebook, companies like Google are changing by the minute. Yeah. Different algorithms, different software, different all these different rules. And so trying to stay on top of that, you have to find someone that can mentor you. And we've got a, I, I feel the group is fantastic because we can support each other and learn yeah, along the way. Support, very supportive. I've found a lot of support from everyone in the group. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what else did you have to do or what else did you pursue uh, in, in uh, gaining all your access to the 21 day and winning it last, last go round of the 21 day challenge? Like that was, that was huge out of the thousands of people that were in it. That's very cool. Well, you know, it's it's funny. It was not my first one. So, you know, I did 14 day, 21 day, 21 day. So it was the third one. And every time I continued to sort of look ahead and I realized the first one that I did, I didn't do so well because I had to learn what I was doing and I'd fall behind on the training. And, and, and there's so many great training videos to teach things. And I'd be trying to run my my business and I just squeezed some time in for the videos. And I didn't realize how little I was investing in myself 
Correct. Yeah. In not watching the videos in a timely fashion, planning, you know, the content for tomorrow, the content for the next day and the content for a few days later. So for instance, putting this, this interview together, you reached out to me a few days ago. Yes. If I was doing well, this in my flying first, by the seat of our pants. So yeah. Like the planning. first time I was just flying by the seat of my pants. I didn't do any planning. And when you start planning your business, it's it's no different whether it's a go live challenge or your business. You want to plan out a quarter at a time, six months at a time to know what the future holds. It's going to change, but yes. plan. And I didn't plan the first one. I planned the second, but I've really planned hard on the third one. And that's why a lot came together. Well, and you had some really, really interesting interviews on yourself, some, some people that were way out of my scope of everything, but that was very cool and very knowledgeable. I just wanted to say hi to Patricia who jumped on here from Australia. That's awesome to have you join us, Patricia, way to go. Um, yeah, so Matt, what else What else can you kind of share with us now that, now that the industry or the online uh, world is changing, like you said, daily and stuff, what do you think is gonna happen for all of these people that aren't embracing some of these things for 2020 that are coming up? Are they gonna be left in the dust? Yeah, I, I think some of the things to think about is Facebook is in the business of making money. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, anybody that goes into business is in the business of making money. So what if you were to spin back probably a f four years, five years ago, personal profiles had a lot more organic reach. And that's kind of petered off a little bit. Then business pages come out. They also had quite a bit of organic reach, but now Facebook wants to monetize that. And again, nothing wrong with that. We just have to be able to embrace it. But there's a real delineation happening between personal profile pages, business pages, and that the two don't really intermesh. Right. And there's a lot of people out there, and, and, and my friends as well, they may be in a small home-based business, or they might be a, 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 a carpenter or somebody that does work in, in the trades. And they're posting business things on their personal pages. And that's becoming, in Facebook, they've certainly made announcements that that's going to be more of a no-no in the future. And while they're, while they're not going to shut someone down, they just won't show you to as many people and you won't know. Exactly. And, and so it's that, trying to stay in, in, and delineating my business from my personal, that they don't intermesh because ultimately I'm at the mercy of Facebook as to who they want to show my, myself to the audience. And I've been noticing when I would do business posts in the past, now I know better, but in the past, if I put a business post saying, hey, um, you know, come over here and check this opportunity out, or hey, check out this networking event that I've got going on, I got crickets. It just went quieter and quieter and quieter. Yeah. And I, I didn't know. They, they, yeah. Yeah, they frown on it, but they, we don't, it doesn't have this thing flash up on my screen saying, hey, we're not gonna show you to more people. Right. It just doesn't happen. And so you're sitting there going, why is it so quiet? And so now that you've embraced some of these, um, some of this mentorship with Helen and stuff and some of her training, have you done other training on top of this or is mostly just through Helen? Um, I've done some training, like there's, there's Facebook blueprint training. There are other, you know, trainings out there that you can, you can really just go looking for. There's, there's so much um, YouTube, uh, uh, YouTube videos. If there's something that I'm stuck on, I just Google it and I find YouTube has a whole bunch of videos. So there's a lot of stuff that you can self teach yourself. And, and, and again, there's lots of information out there. I mean, our, our refrigerator, the, the, uh, the ice maker broke down. You Google it. My, my son <laughs> comes to me and says, well, what are you worried about that? Why are you calling a repairman? Just Google it, just YouTube it. And up comes this video everything is at our fingertips and our disposal. There is a YouTube video for absolutely everything, whether it's Facebook advertising, whether it's how to get more organic reach, whether it's how to advertise, it's all out there. And so it's just a matter of embracing it and locating, locating it and, and listening to it. Our age group. And Did we lose you? Oh, there you oh, are. There you are. Thought we lost you there for a sec. Okay, I didn't hear that last question. Are you still there, Matt? I'm I here. Think you're kind of frozen you, up here. Can you hear me? What happened here? Uh oh. Am I back on? We lost Matt. Oh. Hold on a sec. Now he's coming back in. Now he's lost. Okay. Am I there? <laughs> Are you there can you now? Hear I, can, I can hear you. <laughs> okay, now I can see your picture. So, well, welcome to technology and all the uh, interesting stuff that it gives us, right? Can you hear me there? 
Yes, I can. Okay, what was the last question that you just went, you froze right on the last one. What did you say? I, I said your son probably embraces technology a lot more than us because uh, we're oh. a little bit older than they are. So um, this is second nature to them. Whereas we, back in the day, had to uh, research things and study things in a way, way different manner than they do today. So Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and embracing it. Yeah, seeing that our brain works in a different manner is very, very good too. Challenging our brain, expanding our brain and learning, always learning. So yeah, absolutely. Um, when a Helen's line fall, uh, fail forward, learn as you go. Um, get all the resources. Like I'm getting resources from you right now. So from somebody that's been an online business owner for way longer than I have. So yeah, no, no, it's it's you know it's it's a great journey. And as long as you continue to learn, I say the day I die is the day I stop learning, and yeah. just continue, continue, take it all in like a sponge. There's so much opportunity out there, but it's up to us to really learn about it and and figure out how to apply it in our day to day businesses and our day to day lives. Right. Do you guys have any snow out there? Yeah, we had a bit of a dusting. They're calling for a bit more tomorrow. I don't think we have as much as parts of Alberta do, though. So, uh, well, yeah, it's, it's plus three here today and it's all melted away. There's floods in the street and it's dry. So northern Alberta's got quite a bit more than we do. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, not that bad here. That's why the Chinooks come in and give us all those headaches and stuff like I had <laughs> yesterday. Well, I'd like to thank you very, very much for participating in my dual live and sharing a bunch of your wealth and knowledge, uh, a lot more than I have in this business. So um, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Matt. Oh, thanks for, for and I guess, for I, guess I have to send you that little gift that you asked me for. So. <laughs> oh, it's just an iMac. It's it's okay. There's nothing, no big deal. Just a really nice no iMac deal. Pro. No, no big deal at all. Good. Yeah. Okay. Well, perfect. Thank you. I'll just clean up here at the end here and say goodbye to everyone. And thank you very much, Matt, for sharing all your experience. You're very awesome. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So that was Matt all the way from Ontario here in Canada. And I, like I said, I am in uh, Western Canada here in Medicine Hat, Alberta. I wanted to thank everyone for jumping on. If you are catching the replay, uh, shoot me a message and say that you're on the replay and I will give you a shout out after the fact. And I've got to jump off here so that I can catch the new one that's coming on for Helen here in about 15 minutes. So uh, good luck, everyone. Have a good day. I guess I kind of messed up with my go live yesterday. I got out of the the order of what I'm supposed to be doing. So um, we'll have to do uh, in uh, out in the in the world in front of people in a grocery store or something. I'll have to try and do that one tomorrow. So thanks very much, guys. And we will catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.